Hey, this is Eddie from Wonderlish, and in this short video, I'd like to show you our oil cooler guard for the K1600 GT and GTL. This is a very practical part, especially for this motorcycle. As you can see, the oil cooler is in a pretty vulnerable position right above the front wheel, like all oil coolers. Um, just leaves a plenty of room for any kind of debris to be kicked up by the rider in front of you or a vehicle in front of you, kicking a rock up into your oil cooler, causing damage, possibly even causing a leak, leaving you on the side of the road. So Wunderlich has designed and developed a oil cooler screen to bolt in very easily and to keep your oil cooler protected. I'd like to show you how easy it is to install and show you what it looks like installed. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we're, we're gonna wanna do is there's two fasteners here. They're gonna wanna be removed and there's these, these little black plastic covers that come out. What those are gonna be taken out for is they're gonna expose the bolt that mounts the brackets that hold on the oil cooler. So let's go ahead and take them off. All right, so now that we have the bolts out and the black covering plastic pieces off, um, we've now exposed the mounting locations for the oil cooler guard. We're gonna to wanna to remove these two fasteners behind that black plastic cover. And with the existing bolts, we're gonna to want to then install these brackets that hold on the oil cooler. And we wanna make sure when we put the bolts back in that we use thread locking fluid, very important. So yeah. just one more tip, you probably wanna just make sure that you have the orientation of the brackets correct. You can kinda of just go in there and see where they're gonna sit. That's kind of what you want. You want this line to line up here because that's where the oil cooler is gonna mount onto. It's kind of impossible to install them backwards, but I thought I'd just make that little side note. All right, so we got the bracket installed the left side. We also put the black plastic covering back on. So let's move to the right. All right, now that we have the brackets installed and the bike put back together, um, we're now ready to install the oil cooler. The kit does come supplied with some 3M tape and some foam tape. And what this is designed for is with vibration in the motorcycle and this bracket in there, it could cause a little bit of chafing just from vibration. So if you'd like, you could set the oil cooler up. You can find out where it's closely making contact with your body panel. Um, and then you can go ahead and apply some 3M tape. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some foam tape up here at the top of the headlight, just because the oil cooler kind of rests on there and it'll just give it a nice sealed um, finish so it will not vibrate. So I'm gonna be putting some foam tape here and some foam tape here. And once that's done, I'm going to then use the supplied um, washer and bolt with a drop of lock um, tight. And then I'm gonna be installing the oil cooler guard to the bracket.
All right, now that we got it loosely fitted, we can then go back and just make some corrections, make sure it's seated properly before we tighten everything down. I'm gonna press it up on that foam to leave a little gap on this front, um, front plastic covering, just so there's no contact and press it up on the foam and then go back and tighten the fasteners. So there you have it. That's how easy it is to install. As you can see for yourself, I mean, the part just looks beautiful on the bike. It looks factory. Um, it fits beautifully, very easy to install. It serves an awesome purpose, keeps your bike well protected on those long trips down the road. If you have any other questions or would like to place an order, please visit us at www.wonderlishamerica.com. And you can also see the product link in the description below.